Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to file GSTR1 using Tally Prime application. See, in the previous classes, we have completed creating a new company, creation of common ledgers, creating stock items, recording vouchers for goods, recording vouchers for services we have finished. And we also completed recording all the transactions in the month of August. We sold goods to Sahara, Hindustan, Vedanta, and we sold some services to Dhalal states, Prakash Shards, right? So the recording part is completed. Now it's time to export data from Tally and uploading in the GST portal. Did you remember our initial classes when we are creating our company in GST? We have created two folders. One is for our data saving. One is for our report export saving, right? So now from Tally, I'm going to export GSTR1 to this Tally Prime reports folder. From this folder to we upload in the GST portal. So just follow the notes as well. I will provide these notes in the video resources kindly download. Yeah. So first step, step five is exporting GSTR1 from our tally to PC and then uploading again from PC to GST portal. This filing process divided into two parts. So here, what you do, click on the button, go to and search for a GSTR1. On tally main page, you can just simply click on the button, go to and search for a GSTR1. But here, before uploading GSTR1 in the portal, by, by default in tally application, voucher numbers as simple as play number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. I wanted to add a prefix and suffix. I just wanted to confirm. I just wanted to convert a simple invoice number into a branded invoice number by adding prefix and suffix before and after the invoice number. How we can do it? Just go to alter, voucher type, select sales, additional numbering details. Yes, one, I need at least four digit invoice number. If my invoice number less than four digits, prefilled remaining digits with zero, yes. And here I am going to add a prefix of let's say PE. Actually, we need to enter name of the company V Solutions. Of course, I will go with V slash 23 and 24. In prefix, I have added V and in suffix, I have added 4 and I increased number width at least to 4. Control A1, Control A1 and Y to accept. Now, if you go to a report you will see the updated voucher numbering previously we have only simple just 0102 now it is updated yeah now we are going to export how we export from tally main page click on the button go to and search for a gstr1 you do like this or else you also can follow the second method manual method display more reports gst reports and go to GSTR1. Uh, have you know any one way you can use? After opening GSTR1, you just press Alt plus F2 to set up your filing period. By default, it is opening in July, but I did not made any record in July. So Alt plus F2, you know, set up your report filing period. We are filing for the month of August. So 1st August to 31st August. And make sure before exporting and uploading in the GST portal, the corrections needed should be zero. While recording the transaction, if you add double CGST or double SGST or if you forget addition of GST or if you choose any wrong GST ledger or if you while creating any item, if you forget to update any GST percentages, you will get an error. Open the error. Tally will show what is the error. You need to just open and fix the error and save. So make sure before exporting and uploading, you have zero errors recorded in the data. Just to make you understand, I'll do one mistake. I'll go to vouchers. Let's say I will go to change voucher mode. I will add an item. Let's say uh, it is a cash sale, unregistered. Uh, it is a cash sale to unregistered person. Let's say Dell XPS one number. Now I'm adding CDST again CDST. Control A. I have doubled the GST. If you click on the button, go to and search for GSTR1 and Alt F2 1st August to 31st August. Now you can see there is one transaction recorded under corrections needed. So while recording the transaction, if you made any mistake, that will be uh, shown under correction needed. Open the transaction, try to read what is the error. 
tax ledger is not specified open it now you can see here as per the question cash cgst 7000 is calculated and there is no ledger in the igst just press enter open the transaction and find out the error and replace by sgst once it is saved the error will be automatically removed now you can see the error has been removed so make sure before exporting and uploading make sure you have zero corrections needed your error report should be blank which means there are no errors in the data yeah what next step you click on the button export and go to gst returns and then export click on the button export go to gst returns and then click on export yeah here see during my previous classes i already uh, set up default data saving period as tally prime reports and the format selected as jsyn if you see a different uh, formats or different location to change them you need to go to configure for settings so make sure file format should be what should be jsyn sometimes tally comes with the excel option you change to jsyn and again export location even export path also you always keep your uh, a, a path which you can easily memorize them okay so you always you know you also can customize your export location just go to folder path enter and go to select from drive and you can choose any location but only the thing is that you should remember where you have exported the data let's say i will export in e drive in tally prime reports folder enter control a save and go to export now from tally gstr1 has been exported to our tally prime reports folder so this fifth step was completed and i have seen a lot of students they will export from tally to you know the any folder and they will forget where they have exported and later whenever they once again try to export again they go to export and they will select the gst returns and if you see that it is going to show pending to export voucher is zero so you already exported but you, you know you didn't remember where you have exported once again if you try to export it is showing that report already exported so there is nothing to export so in these cases what you're supposed to do is open the particular transactions so you need to open each and every transaction manually and you click on the button set gst status from system inferred to not exported I have I have done this for only one voucher. You need to do, you need to open all other vouchers like this, and you click on the button, set GST status, and select as not exported. So I have done it for two vouchers. Now if I click on export and go to GST returns, now I can you can see there are two invoices are coming voucher count two. So likely if you ex, if you are already exported, but if you know if you don't remember where you exported to export it once again open all the vouchers once again open all this count once again and you click on the button set gst status and select as not exported so that again you can export and you can upload in the gst portal seamlessly so as i already exported to this pc e drive tally reports folder from here i'm going to upload in the gst portal you again follow the notes what was the next step upload gstr1 from our pc to gst portal first you need to log into gst portal visit www.gst.gov.in and click on the button login just add your username and password and log into the gst portal using your username and password once login is done you go to where services returns returns dashboard go to services returns returns dashboard from here you just need to select the option august we are filing for which month for the month of august and such and i will go to first online just to show you how to erase old data go to prepare online so now you can see there are some data available i am going to click on the button reset yes and again click on refresh now you can see as of now for the month of august all the data being shown 000 there is no data available in august gstr1 we'll go back once again and search for the period august and search yeah now we just selected period august and we clicked on search i got this screen here so there are two buttons mostly used prepare offline is used to upload jsyn from our computer 
After uploading, Prepare Online is used to review the data, reset data and submit the return. To upload data from Tally to Portal, you need to click on Prepare Offline. Once uploading is done, to review the data, to reset means to clear the data, to submit the return, you need to go to Prepare Online. First, I will click on the button Prepare Offline and choose File to Upload and where the file available in my DSPC, in E Drive, in Tally Report, the folder have one gstr1 report and select and upload the return is now uploaded now the current status is in progress click on the button refresh the no the status was changed from in progress to processed and error report not available and click on the button back to file returns and just simply select august search and go to prepare online see we just uploaded using offline now i'm going to online yeah so in the online now you can see there are four invoices are coming i will open four invoices i will click on any one processed record just to show you you can see invoice number v002 is now recorded in tally the data whatever we recorded in tally is now exported and uploaded in the gst portal you also can check hsn wise summary and the service wise summary these are all the items and services that which we created in tally application the data was recorded in tally exported from tally to pc and again uploaded from pc to gst portal once the re once the review process is done you can just click on the button you can you also can follow the same go to where generate summary refresh proceed to file file statement first you click on the button generate summary what is the current status not file click on refresh now the new status ready to file click on generate summary refresh and now the generate summary button has been changed to proceed to file click on the button proceed to file and again scroll down to file statement and just select owner name and accept the declaration select dsc if your owner have a digital signature certificate inside the in, you know insert the pen drive and click on dsc or else to get email and mobile otp just simply click on the button you know uh, evc once if you click on the button evc the otps will be delivered just confirm the otps and this is how simple we file gstr1 using tally prime application thank you